everyone, my name is Katie Masters, and today I have accepted the TMI challenge. This tag was given to me by my good friend Kira Schumacher, and of course, we had to have a drink. This is called Stockholm. I know Stockholm Syndrome, but it was the only drink I could find in my new drink book that sounded German-ish in honor of her. And if there is one thing I have learned about making this drink, it's that you shouldn't rely on, on shot glasses to do your measuring because they are dirty, dirty liars. And I figured a shot glass would be adequate or, you know, mostly proportionate, and I was wrong. I was wrong. We're gonna try and go through these as fast as we possibly can because there are 50 of them. 50. Question number one, what fictional character has the best style? Honestly, I'm gonna go with Katniss. I know she's from District 12 and doesn't have, like, the fanciest of clothes, but have you seen the clothes in the movie? Because I want those clothes. Question number two, who is your book boyfriend fictional crush? My fictional crush, and I thought about this, is Mr. Darcy. And before people go, what a cop out! The reason I choose Mr. Darcy is because he's witty, he's smart and sarcastic, which I appreciate so much in a man, and he's got a good heart. And who doesn't want that for a boyfriend? Ugh. Question number three, have you ever loved but then started hating a character? So the character that I started to love but then started to hate was Daphne from To Love a Duke by Julia Quinn. And I liked her. She starts out spunky and smart. I mean, what romance story isn't good when a girl punches a guy out who's trying to accost her and then tries to drag the body away without being seen? But then it just kind of gets a little worse from there. And Daphne makes decisions where I started liking her and then started hating her because she made some really dumb decisions that I didn't feel no one should ever be thinking that way. Question number four, what is the biggest or longest book on your shelf? Well, ladies and gentlemen, since I don't own any shelves yet, the longest book I have is Polgara by David and Leigh Eddings, which is like eight, 734 pages, I think, or something like that. It's really long, and I wish I had it on my shelf, but I don't because I don't have shelves because my room is the size of a postage stamp. Question number five, what is the heaviest book on your bookshelf? The heaviest book on my bookshelf so far is The Other Side of Eve by Paul Inken. The pages are like, okay, they're not really vellum, but they feel like vellum and they're really thick and big and it makes it heavy. I kind of don't want to hold it because I have delicate things here. Question number six, do you have any posters of books? I do not. But that sounds like a brilliant idea. And do they have book posters? Because if they do, I know several books I would like to have on my wall in large screen. Question number seven, do you have any book themed jewelry? No. Question number eight, what is your book OTP? My favorite pairing of like all time really is Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy because they're super snarky to each other and witty and smart and bantery. And oh my God, that is like my favorite thing. Why have I not moved to England yet? Why have I not done that? Question number nine, what is your favorite book series? My favorite book series in the entire world, in the entire planet, is the Lioness Quartet, AKA the Alana series by Tamara Pierce. That is the series that made me want to become a writer. Question number 10, what is your favorite book to movie soundtrack? My favorite book to movie soundtrack would actually have to be the Jane Eyre version, the new one that they did with Mia Wazowski. I said Wazowski, that's Mike Wazowski. This is not Monsters, Inc. I really love the book and the music for the new movie that they had made just fit the book so well. Number 11, a book or story you wish would continue. This one right here, Crazy Rich Asians. That's a series I wish would continue because I know he's probably going to stop at book two and I really want him to just make them forever until they're old and die. And then you just follow the kids and it would just keep going forever and ever. That's all I want. It's not so much to ask. Question number 12, what is your favorite standalone? Currently, at the moment, is All Signs Point to Yes by Sandy Hall. I said it's cute and a good read and I read it in like two hours. <laughs> Cause I really liked it. Question number 13, when did you start reading books? I started reading books when I was like four. I also read at a really high level at a really young age. So I read a lot. Okay, question number 14, which Hogwarts house are you in? Okay, here's the thing guys, like six years ago, I took this test 
And I was a Gryffindor. I was really excited about that. All right, I'm in the same house as Harry and Hermione. And then I took the test again recently, and I'm now Slytherin. I'm trying to like the idea of being a Slytherin. If you're a Slytherin and you know good points, help me acclimate to this because I'm really trying. So, any pointers on how to adjust? Anyone? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks. Question number 15, what is the quality you look for in a book? I look for believable characters and I look for really well written prose. I, I love description. I love good word choices. In the book that I'm reading right now, The Fifth Wave, which by the way, go read that book, it's awesome. He has some brilliant lines in it. She's running through a forest and she sees shards of sky. Shards of sky! Why didn't I think to put those two words together? Another expression was, sometimes I can hear the stars scraping against the sky. Poetry. Number 16, your favorite book quote is a truth universally acknowledged that a man with a large portion must be in want of a wife. Number 17, who is your favorite book author? Why are you making me do this? You know I can't choose. I can't even choose what color socks to wear in the morning. My favorite authors are Tamara Pierce, Jane Austen, and E.M. Forrester. Question number 18, favorite book cover? Um, I can't really pick. I don't think I ever have a favorite book cover, really. Which is weird because I love comics and manga. You'd think that that's a thing, right? That like, I'd have a favorite, but I don't. Question number 19, action or romance? Both. Both. Question number 20, where do you go when a sad moment happens? I'll go on the internet and, and cry, and someone who also just finished the book somewhere in the world is also crying, and we can cry together. Question number 21, how long do you take to finish a book? It takes me about half a day to finish most books now. Question number 22, how long is your morning period? Probably a few weeks. Number 23, what is your least favorite book? My least favorite, there's a fly? Okay. My least favorite book. There was a book that I read and then like had to stop right in the middle because I couldn't do it anymore. And I don't even remember the name of the book. Probably because I stopped in the middle of the book because it was so bad. So why would I remember its name? Number 24, what is a turn on in a character? Sarcasm. Sarcasm is my favorite thing in a character because I'm incredibly sarcastic. A turn off in a character? When they don't talk like how the age should talk. And I mean for contemporaries. Like when you have a character that says, gee, that was so hard. Who says that? No 16 year old that I'm aware of in any country doesn't not curse. They all curse, they all say, bad words. Not that I'm saying all books should have cursing, but when a teenager says stuff like, oh darn, no 16 year old says that. Like none. Just omit the word entirely if you're gonna do that. That's a turn off for me when they don't sound their age. Number 26, reasons I joined booktube. I joined booktube because I love all of you. I love the booktube community. I love that you can talk about books and that you are not alone in how you feel or geek out. And you know when you're reading a book and you get really excited and you're like, oh my god, I love this book, it's so great, it's so wonderful. Don't you think it's so great? And then you realize the person you're talking to is on a bus and like asleep. Yeah, so booktube is great because they're not a person on a bus asleep. They're someone who is as geeked out over a scene or a character or a plot as you are. And that is why I joined booktube. At number 27, name a scary book. A scary book, you say? Real World by Natsuo Kirino. Number 28, last book that made you cry. You know, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had a book that made me cry. Is that sad? I feel like that's sad. Number 29, the last book you gave five stars to. I don't, I've never really given five stars to anything. I generally love most of the books I read and would give them all a five because I love them. Number 30, any favorite book titles? I would love to give them to you, but it would literally take all day because every book on my shelf is one I would recommend to you. Number 31, last book you read, Freedom's Ransom by Anne McCaffrey to complete a four book series and it was awesome. Number 32, book you are currently reading. The book I'm currently reading is The Fifth Wave. Did you know it's becoming a movie? It is. You should read the book before you go see it. Number 33, last book to adaptation you read was The Maze Runners. Number 34, a book character you always wanted to talk to. A book character I've always wanted to talk to was actually Charlotte Lucas from Pride and Prejudice because she's really smart and sarcastic and I don't know, I just feel like we'd have really good conversations about things over tea. Question number 35, what is an author you've always wanted to talk to? I would actually want to talk to Mary Shelley, the author of Frankenstein or Beatrice Potter. Number 36, your favorite book snack, Pocky. 
Pocky and Tea. Number 37, what is your favorite book world you would want to live in? I guess I would want to live in Tortal in Tamara Pierce's world because then women could become knights and there's magic and dragons and horses and other th creatures and I really like that. Number 38, what book world don't you want to live in? I would like to not live in the fifth wave. That would be great. I don't want to live in that world. That world is really freaking scary and there's no alcohol in it. 39, when was the last time you smelled a book? <coughs> smells like glue. <coughs> Just now. Number 40, weird insults used in books. I can't think of any. Number 41, favorite romance book, Devil's Bride. It's a really crummy title, but it is such a good book. My other one is How to Marry a Marquis by Julia Quinn. Kind of because mainly it's a lot like Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet. I realize I have a problem. I, I realize that. Number 42, do you write? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I recently finished a modern day science fiction working on a children's book and also wrote a futuristic fantasy-ish one, which I'm hoping will be picked up soon. Number 43, favorite magical item? A duh, a wand. Number 44, your Quidditch position? I don't have one because I'm not an athlete. I'm an artist. You could not catch me within 20 feet of a Quidditch field. That's dangerous. That's dangerous for artists. Number 45, name a song you connect to a book. I actually can't think of any, is that bad? Number 46, favorite book related chat up line. I don't think I've ever been hit on with a chat up line, nor have I chatted anyone up with a book line. But that is a great idea. If a guy hit on me with like a book quote or something, I would, I would take you out for coffee or tea, sir. Number 47, have you ever used it? No, but you could use one on me. Number 48, your favorite book fandom? My favorite book fandom is, I'd say Harry Potter because I love that world so much. And I love that you can create characters and they create characters and you can do things and they're just a great fandom. Number 49, how many books do you own? I have so many in storage, but the last time I counted those, including the ones I've bought, I probably have over 300 books and manga. And question number 50, who do you tag? I tag Diana and Dylan, and I look forward to seeing if they'll actually do this because holy crap, you guys, 50 questions. <sighs> and like three of these. If you like this, please remember to give it a big thumbs up if you like. I will have the recipe for the drink called Stockholm down in the description box below. And my common question to you for the day is, if you could drop one character into another world, which character and into which world and why? I'll catch you next time and I look forward to drinking with you. My least fa- Freaking fly, man. I don't even know what kind of fly it is. They talk like they- Take that stupid fly. Just leave me alone, man. I'm filming! <laughs>